G'day Love Bite, how you doing? Uh, it's Citrix here and this is a bit of a live set with a whole load of bits of gear that I've got here. The connecting thing is that everything has a floppy disk. So this is the Love Bite 2024 floppy disk and on here I have songs for as many devices as I have floppy disks that can play music. So we've got a bunch here, we're going to reveal them to you as we go. But first let's have a look at what's on this disk. So let's get some background music. Oh yeah, courtesy of the Yamaha Music Station. This will be our first machine we play off today. I hope you all had a good party. No, I'm having a fantastic day of getting all this gear ready. All right, so let's have a look at what's on this floppy disk. And you can see if we have a list through it here. Uh, you can see we've got a whole bunch of stuff up here. These are Atari files for different synthesizers. We've got some uh, C workers for a Yamaha Music Station. Uh, the Roland is for a uh, Roland sound canvas player with a floppy drive. OPL is, as it says, for OPL3. A couple of new school executables. And then a funny little folder that says SNES. And we'll find out what that is later on. So what I'm going to do is get the floppy disk and put it in the Atari, because that is the first system that we're looking at today. And if we have a look at the Atari screen, you'll see that we can open and we're going to open some MIDI files. Let's bring those in and the disc will load. We're going to grab this Yamaha one. Can we hold shift and open multiple? No. Uh, I've got a few songs back to back that I want to play and I don't want to be loading off the floppy disk each time. So there's our first track and we're going to open our second track. Got to wait for a little bit of loading. And when this is loaded, which it has now, we swap our window back and here we go.
right, let's hit stop on that one and change sounds, go. Here we go. It's the Yamaha Disc Orchestra all-in-one general MIDI player. General MIDI 1.0. Watch out.
I love this thing so much. Like, this is Yamaha's first attempt at making a general MIDI box. And they just nailed it. Like, it's, you know, beyond this point, everybody shifted towards Roland sounds. But Yamaha's original kind of idea of what MIDI should be, this is the 1.0 general MIDI box. And you can program all this additional stuff um, with SysX. It's, it's a gorgeous machine. Anyway, we're going to take the floppy out of this one. And, of course, we're moving on to Roland, the most... Uh, a distinctive general MIDI, but I've tried to stack sounds and use some of the more general standard stuff. You've got to jump through a bunch of errors when you put the disc in because it doesn't understand all the other formats because I've done some SysX stuff. Track number five is Roland. Let's have a listen. Oh, hang on. I need to hot plug it. Ooh, yeah. All right, hold on. Uh, hot plug, hot plug, hot plug, outputs. All right, rewind. Here we go. All right, we're good.
Well, I just hooked up an Amiga and then suddenly realized, oh no, uh, I've got DOS stuff next. So we need to go back to the DOS machine. Let us eject the Lovebite floppy, which is still going strong. We need to get behind this machine now. And our next track is actually an OPL3 track. Um, but first of all, just greets if you've joined us. Uh, we're doing an entire show off a single floppy disk and it's bouncing between a whole load of different machines. Um, yeah, and now we're about to hit the DOS section of the show. Uh, and this is an OPL3 track uh, with a little uh, replayer and decruncher that I've put together. Hopefully it'll load. It's loading, loading, depacking. And when this loads, you will hear the sounds, the wonderful sounds. There it is. All right. unmistakable sounds of the OPL3. Oh, and I took the floppy disk out. <laughs> so we're gonna get another error. But that's all right, we can just uh, fail on that one. Um, yeah, so uh, I've also got this new school machine. Um, and what, well, it's not new school. <laughs> I did show it to someone the other day who said, oh, that laptop's older than me. And I was like, oh, <laughs> so you know what it's like. So we're gonna fire up on this machine. We'll have a quick look to see that the disc can read okay. I think it will be right. And we are up to show number seven, I think, in the show, which is seven flash G, because this doesn't have the thing where you can continue writing. And fingers crossed, 
This is made uh, is executable with Sane uh, Studio, I think it's called. Synth by Sess and Titan Star Sane Station. Now it needs plugging not in a speaker. Hold on. <laughs> Woo! This is doing it live on so many different platforms. Let's um, let's just redo that. All right, here we go. Uh, which hole's the out hole? Oof. Gotta be careful what you say on there. All right, here we go.
And that was a track called No Bites Left. And oh, and we've got the error again, because <laughs> I keep pulling the disc out. Um, but yeah, we transferred the disc into the Amiga now. And those of you who may have noticed, I was cycling through going, where's my floppy? And the reason I was doing that is I forgot to mount PC0, which if you're an Amiga person, yeah, you know, it's not like the Atari where you just pop it in and it works. You've got to sometimes type a few things in, uh, at least on my Amigas, because I'm a bit slack with setting things up. Um, but yeah, we have uh, the Love Bites uh, Amiga part of the show now. And uh, we have four mods. Uh, this first one's, they're all power packed, of course. Uh, this first one's pretty small. And uh, hopefully it works, because I just YOLO'd setting this up before without testing anything. So, with a bit of luck. Ah, oh, here it is. Unmistakable sound of the Amiga. Enjoy. Let's get slamming.
That was a track called Lemon Fun. This next one coming up is a track called Dreamtastic. It's my little trick to uh, getting between two Amigas when I've only got one Amiga, is you can chuck in the little looper on the mix up. Super useful. But at some point, you gotta bring the next one in. And this one's a bit of a party banger. I hope you enjoy it. This is incidentally the largest file on the floppy, just to let you know. Put another cheeky, cheeky little ending in the looper there. Um, that was a track called Dreamtastic. Uh, one of these days I'll uh, I'll pop it out as a mod. Uh, I haven't got around to releasing all my mods yet. I will do it in big and a massive dump. I know a lot of people want them. Um, th there's a reason I haven't released them yet. It's because I want to record them all first properly and have them on a YouTube channel. Otherwise, what people do is they get them and they play them back in like VLC or some other equally terrible player that completely balks the playback and then they just chuck it on YouTube like, here's the c Trix track that I recorded. And it's like, no you didn't, that's not what it sounds like. And it's hard panned and it's got none of the effects and things. I mean, all these tunes are designed to sort of go for a mixer. So yeah, anyway, uh, what we're gonna do 
Uh, still on our little uh, Love Bite floppy here, uh, we have a couple of things here that are a little bit different. In particular, I've got a track that is a executable file um, that I entered into a small music competition that was supposed to be a chip music competition, but then they said uh, it can be up to 32K in size and you can use 16-bit machines because they wanted to include Mega Drives and things like that. And I was like, well, that includes the Amiga now, so as long as it's under 32K uh, and it's got no samples in it, and uh, this is using a tool by Pink uh, of Abyss. If we hit the tilde key, we can multitask, because that's what Amigas do. Uh, if we then go into the Love Bite folder, uh, or the floppy, I should say, uh, we can go and we can oh, probably arrange the windows a bit better. Uh, open this file called 9 Disco, and that will fire up our little uh, pre-tracker demo. So, um, yeah. Um, not much to say about this. Uh, I think it won first place at Flashback Chip Compo for tiny music. And we're all about the tiny stuff today, of course, playing the entire show off a of floppy disk, uh, which has still got a few more tracks under its sleeve. So uh, stay tuned, I hope you're enjoying. There we go, complete with Dutch color scheme because, uh, yeah, because <laughs> it's supposed to boot off a floppy at a 500, not a loaded OS on a 1200. But hey, 
Hey, I got two more tunes for you, maybe three. Uh, we're gonna do something pretty exciting next, but to do that, I have to play a tune which I can just sort of let roll in the background while I do some shuffling. Here we go. I'm almost ready. Oh, I just need some audio. Hold on. <laughs> One sec. I knew this would happen. I've got to get an adapter. Alright, just in time on that one. Um, yeah, so basically uh, we've got a, a SNES here with a pretty weird looking floppy disk sitting out of it. Um, because the last track is actually for the SNES. Let me just first get some background music. So we've got something in the background here. Alright, hold on. Alright, what we're going to do is ignore that error. And then we're going to tell it, well, we don't have to tell it anything. We're just going to check the files are on the disk which they are. All right, now we're gonna do something um, which is pretty scary. We are going to uh, delete star dot star, enter. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> so we're actually erasing every single thing on that floppy. Um, 14 files removed. Oof. And then what we're gonna do is say SNES go. Oh, hang on, not that way around. What about the other way around? like that. Yes. <laughs> okay. So what this is doing now is actually uh, de-archiving uh, a couple of SMC files. And you may have actually recognized the SMC format as a format that you use in a Super Nintendo emulator. Now, uh, if we pan down, <laughs> you will see here is a Super Nintendo. And next to it, is this thing here, which is called a Super Wild Card. And what we're gonna do is shove the Super Wild Card into the Nintendo um, the right way around. And on the side of it, you'll see, aha, uh -huh, there's a floppy drive. Woohoo! Now, in order to uh, get it to work, you need to give it a chip uh, from an existing game. So we're just gonna chuck Nigel Mansell's World Championship in there, like that. And if we power it on, it should come up and say, here we go, Super Wildcard. Look at that. And what we're gonna do is go and pull our floppy disk out, and we're gonna pop it into the Super Wildcard, if I can get it in, like so. And if we actually go play game, it'll say insert disk, and it'll ask us what's on the disk, and you'll see Elix and Make Me Wonder are the two tracks on here. So uh, we're going to start off with the Make Me Wonder track. We'll go load, and you can see that it's flashing and flickering. I love this, <laughs> as it's accessing the drive. I think it's overdrawing power. Um, and this will count down. Uh, and when it gets to zero, we've got a banger ready to go. And I'll just get on this so that we're ready to hit go. Are you ready for this? Oh, it's almost. Oh, here it is. Come on. Hey, here it is. Oh yeah, SNES move over.
sick. <laughs> that is the sound of the Super Nintendo there as we hit the reset button. And yeah, unfortunately to get to the next tune, uh, we need to find the controller uh, and actually uh, select a new <laughs> track. So yeah, um, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, this was really all about trying to get, uh, you know, a set to fit into a small uh, amount of space, um, but ultimately also uh, trying to do it across platform. So to have a floppy that would read on as many crazy devices as, po as possible. So we've had the MIDI players, the Atari, the Amiga, new PCs, old PCs, uh, a Super Nintendo uh, device here. And um, yeah, this is gonna be my last track now. So I hope you enjoy. Here we go. Anytime. And there it is. That, of course, a track uh, for a Super Nintendo demo. Um, it's called Smash It. You can download it if you want to check it out. That brings us to the end of our set and the end of everything we could flit on the floppy. <laughs> so out it comes. Finally, we made it through the disc. Uh, Love Byte 2024. Thank you for joining. And there's only one more thing to do. Put the disc in the, uh, the old DOS machine one final time. Great. And this is all my greats to everyone. And um, yeah, of course, a nice little uh, prompt change there at the end. So thank you for joining uh, everyone. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. That was pretty chaotic. Um, but yeah, uh, in order we had uh, the Atari ST with the Yamaha Music Station uh, sort of kids keyboard. Then we had the Kawai K1 with some um, guitar and some playing along with it. Then we switched to the Yamaha Music Station, then the Roland MT-130, went to a DOS machine, went to a Windows 32 machine, went to an Amiga as mods, went to an Amiga as executable, and finally got there on the Super Nintendo and some greets and that is zero bytes left on the floppy and um on that note i will wish you a very happy love bite 2024 and yeah hope all your small code and uh programming uh continues to uh, be something that's fun and a big challenge i'll see you later and hopefully in person uh, at some parties in europe soon if not come to syntax demo party australia november 2024 hey, hey, hey. all right i'm out <laughs> love you all